In the kitchen now with Karen Doster from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Here, here it comes, ready or not, <laughs> yes. right? Oh boy, that's right. And your daughter is coming home? She's coming home oh. from New York, so I'm very excited, both that's, of us, to it's, see her. And I know, I think when you <laughs> have kids move out of the house and they come yeah. back, I never thought that would happen to me. Um, and it's it just makes the holiday extra it does, special. So it really, really does. Excited. You have a limited amount of time to kind of connect with them before they're off again. So um, uh, this is a fun last minute stuffing recipe. And Karen was saying this is something that you could do today or tomorrow to get it done. It's also great to do at other times of the year when you're craving stuffing. I've <laughs> talked about this before. I love stuffing, but it seems like it's just a once a year thing at Thanksgiving. That's right, and it you does. know what? Why not do it more often and, and you know do some creative fun side dishes. So these are stuffing cups. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets their own little uh, you know little uh, serving of stuffing and it's made with cornbread so yes. some great flavor. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to actually you just use a stuffing um, a cornbread mix that you find in a mix in the store and okay. bake that. Bake it according You're to right, package right, directions. Right. Okay. And let it cool and then uh, we're going to actually dice it in about half inch dices okay. and put it on a baking sheet and then uh, bake it for about 10, 12 minutes to at yeah, about 400 degrees to kind of dry it out okay. and make some croutons. Okay. okay, so I'll get that started. Yep. And in the meantime, we have a pan here. We're using, of course, Wisconsin butter. Makes everything tastes better, pure, natural, and all that. We have four tablespoons of butter in the pan there. Okay. And we're going to add one small onion um, that's been diced and chopped. And then we're going to add um, a couple of stalks of celery that's okay. also diced. Okay. So those great uh, stuffing ingredients that we all love. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, <laughs> we make stuffing Thanksgiving morning, and um, Ireland and I, that's kind of our tradition, and just starts the house out smelling so yeah, good. Just that's my favorite, lots too. Lots of great smells <laughs> during the day, that's for sure. There we go. Now this is also going to have some apple in it. So in addition to the onions and the celery, we're going to uh, put in one small apple that's been chopped as well. It really adds some sweetness to it. Ooh. Right. I like the idea of doing a cornbread stuffing. And, you know, sometimes it's fun to do your traditional stuffing that you're known for and then do another one too. That's what I'm doing. You're I'm going to you know, make ones. one like this and then I'm also going to make the traditional one. So, because this also has some sausage and generally I don't put that in my regular stuffing. So this makes it really extra special. And there's one apple there too. In okay. the meantime, uh, this again goes into the oven at about 400 degrees for 10, 12 minutes until it's nice and kind of toasted and brown. Almost like a cornbread crouton is right. what we're looking exactly. for. Exactly. So put that in here. Certainly you could bake uh, the cornbread ahead of time and get that done, you yes. know, even if you're not going to make the stuffing today. For sure. We could do that. So I have it finished here and we're going to let that cool just a minute. So it just so kind of toast harder. right yeah, up. Toast okay. it up, okay. So we'll kind of set that aside for right now. And then what we have here, uh, we'll put this in once those are sautéed there. I have about six ounces or a link and a half or depending upon what you find, a fresh chicken sausage or turkey sausage. Okay. And a spicy kind. Unless you really don't want the spicy, but it really kind of adds some, um, you know, different flavor to the uh, entire stuffing. Okay. So I'm going to kind of open up the casings there so you could put that in. And we're going to also add, Amy, a little bit of uh, herbs. We have some parsley, a, a teaspoon of parsley, and a half a teaspoon of uh, thyme, dried thyme. And then you can also add a little salt and pepper to your mixture in there as well. You bet. So I'll get this out for you, and then I'll go wash my hands here. Mm. And does the apple go into now when uh, you're yes, kind of sauteing uh -huh. it? A mm -hmm. little bit of sweetness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the chopped apple. So. Okay, that's, that can go in when you're ready. Okay. Oops. So just your daughter this year, Karen, or do you have company coming as well? This year it's just her. So it'll be just like you. It'll be kind of and nice and quiet, but it'll be a nice visit. So she was in. She graduated from uh, UW Wisconsin and mm -hmm. uh, got a job in New York. She's graduated uh, in in spring, mm -hmm. and she just had to go through all of the storm out there. Yeah, Sandy, she was in Sandy so, there with the oh storm goodness, as well as the wow. snowstorm, and of so, course. Once in my life, I felt out of control. I couldn't yeah, help her, but she right, wasn't worried. She right, was fine, so, right. so I, I bet have you're, to stop. <laughs> you're really going to be glad to see her, though. But we, yeah. we never stop worrying about him, do no, we? No, I don't oh, think so. Oh, my goodness. 
I called my mom at one point and I said, wow, you know, do you ever stop worrying? She goes, no, now I worry more because I've got more ducklings. Yeah, that's right, exactly. <laughs> Grandkids so. and everybody else. So basically we're waiting for this sausage to cook and the mm -hmm. vegetables to get a little bit soft. Right. And this is going to take a few minutes. So. Okay. So, you know, and once that's done, we're actually going to combine it with our cornbread. Here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put this in a big bowl. There we go. Like that. So pretty simple. And um, we're also going to have our muffin tins. Now this makes, this recipe makes eight of these muffin cups. Okay. okay. So I have a 12 cupper here and I actually buttered, really buttered it well, okay, in the uh, little cups there. Because they'll stick so otherwise, stick, I get okay. it. And that's yeah. what we're going to stuff it in. So. Well, that's such a great idea though because it's also going to, um, like I say, if this is something that you want to do uh, at other times of the year, mm -hmm. it's going to cook so much quicker in these muffin cups. I do right. meatloafs. I have a recipe in my cookbook where I do meatloafs, mini meatloafs in the muffin cups and it works fantastic because normally meatloaf you know can take an hour or more mm -hmm. uh, and, and you do them in the muffin cups and obviously it's going to take you know a another way too if you had like a large buffet or whatever you could put them all out and everyone just takes their own it's just kind of yeah. a fun way yeah. portion control way to, to serve it so okay so our, our, fun. Okay. our sausage is done all right and, and no longer pink and, and so sausage crumbly. apple and the celery with okay. the herbs in there mm. we have the cornbread and then what we want to do is add some chicken broth up to one cup until it's moistened. When I made this before, I found I actually did need the entire cup, but you don't want to make it too um, soupy or, or moist so that it falls apart. Topping up some parsley yeah. here. So I can go do in. that. Yep. And I, I actually, you can put a little in there. We can also use it for some garnish at sure, the end. Sure. So now how this works, and I'll, I'll demonstrate with a couple of these. Have clean hands, which yep. I just washed mine. Okay. And you take this and you put it into one of the buttered cups and really want to pack it down. If you don't pack it down, it's not going to form okay. that cup. Okay. Okay, so like this. So really press it down and pile it high. And actually, this recipe does make the eight, eight different uh, cups, just like I mentioned, if you really pack it down and pile it on. And a little bit of parsley and on yeah, top of do each. That as well. Mm -hmm. So this goes in the oven at uh, about 375. Okay. Uh, for about oh, 20 minutes. You just want to wait till it's nice and brown on top, a okay. little bit toasted, and uh, you know, hot. And then we'll, we'll take it that. out. And you want to let it rest, I'd say, for about 10 minutes. I'd actually have them in the oven, but I have, did turn the heat off on it. Um, the reason you want to let it rest about 10 minutes is so that it will, you know, hold its form. All right. And I love the idea that it gets, I like it, the stuffing a little bit crispy on top. So this is going to be want nice. to take a little bit. You yeah. have a knife here, a small knife. You, yep. Maybe we could just use okay. this one here. It'll probably be fine. So then when they're rested, then you can take them out like this. Put that or we'll put a couple here. So they're moist on the inside. Then you can sprinkle with a little and parsley. A little, uh, a little crispy, crispy on the outside. On the outside. Yeah. Yum. A little gravy and turkey and I'm a happy camper. There you go. Yum. Delicious. Cornbread stuffing cups. Recipes on the website. You can also get them online. Uh, now, the, they'll send them out to you, but obviously you're not going to get them in time for Thanksgiving. For, for people who want to use this recipe another time, what's the number to call? Well, actually, we're, we're just have it on our, just our online. website now. Okay. And okay. it's goboldwithbutter.com or eatwisconsincheese.com. We have lots of Thanksgiving recipes this uh, season, and there's all kinds of links to all of our different recipes. So this one is on that one. Wonderful. And you can go to fox11online.com, too, and Living to Add Recipes, and we'll be right there. We'll be back.